سلام مهدی نوری هستم و توی این ویدیو میخوایم با هم بریم سراغ قسمت سوم از درس ششم کتاب امریکن هدوی سطح دوم Let's do the writing Describing my hometown In this writing section we want to study the relative pronouns who, that, which, where If you are studying from your book go to page 106 Look at these sentences. I met a man. He's from my town. Can you combine these two sentences and make one? Me to the Nindo to Jom Laro Tarkiv Konid Va Yik Jom Lebesazin. Look, here we say, I met a man. He is from my town. And this he here is the subject. So we can delete he. Use who and say, I met a man who is from my town. مردی رو دیدم که اهل شهر منه. برای اینکه امن و هی اینجا تکرار شدن هر دو پس ما این تکرار دوم رو حذف میکنیم و چون داریم راجع به یه آدم صحبت میکنیم به جاش از زمیر who استفاده میکنیم. Look at the next one. I bought a house. It's on Market Street. So a house, it, we delete it and we say I bought a house that is on Market Street or I bought a house which is on Market Street. For objects, for things, we use which or that. The hotel was very comfortable. We stayed in it. The hotel, it. So we delete it. Because it's a place we use where. We say the hotel where we stayed was very comfortable. Hoteli ke ma mundim, un jayi ke ma mundim, khaydi rahat bud. Pas be jayin ke biyayim jomlahay kuchulu kuchulu o kutah kutah besazim, ba estefada az in relative pronouns ha, mi tunim jomalat amun ro be ham vas konim, kalamat tekrari ro hasp konim, va jomlahay bolan tari besazim. So we use who for people, which or that for things, where for places. Now join the sentences with the correct relative pronoun. One. There's the boy. He broke the window. There's the boy who broke the window. We delete he and we put who. 2. That's the farm. My uncle lives there. We delete there and we put where. That's the farm where my uncle lives. 3. There are the police officers. They caught the thief. We delete they. And we put who. There are the police officers who caught the thief. 4. I bought a watch. It stopped after two days. We delete it and we put which. I bought a watch which stopped after two days. 5. Here are the letters. They came this morning. We delete they and we put which. Here are the letters which came this morning. 6. That's the hospital. I was born in it. We delete it and we put where. That's the hospital where I was born in. Be careful, in number 3 and 5 we delete they, but in number 3 we use who, because they refers to the police officers. But in number five, they refers to the letters, so we put which. Look at the pictures of Denver. What do you learn about the city? Read this text and complete it with who, that, which, or where.
Denver, the town where I was born. I was born in Denver, the largest city in the state of Colorado in the U.S., with a population of about 5.1 million people. Denver is situated on the high plains near the Rocky Mountains that rise just to the west. Denver is situated means it is located. It's talking about its location. The city is named after James W. Denver, who was the governor of Colorado in the late 1800s. It is sometimes called the Mile High City. 50 years ago, Denver was a small Midwestern city. It had a thriving farm and mining-based economy, which produced beef, gold, and silver. However, in the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s, as the city grew, the city's economy changed. Buildings, where farm-based businesses once had offices, were torn down. Today, new high-rise buildings filled with technology-based companies stand in their place. Denver has a thriving music scene where you can enjoy symphony orchestras, solo artists, and of course, music bands who have become known worldwide, such as the Frey and the Luminaries. In addition to producing pop musicians, Denver is home to Red Rocks, which is one of the best outdoor arenas in the U.S. The city has been named one of the country's most livable cities by Forbes magazine. I moved away 25 years ago, but I return often. I miss the creative, friendly people who have lived through Denver's transition from small Midwestern town to world-class city. They make me proud to call Denver my hometown. Now let's go to the vocabulary part. Synonyms and antonyms. Look at this extract from the text on page 47. It was hard to find work. It was also difficult to talk to people. But things got easier. Which words are synonyms? Synonyms means they have the same meaning. Hammani. Kudum kalamat alan tu in jomalat baham hammani an? Hard and difficult. Which words are antonyms? Opposites. It means they have different meanings. Kudum kalam ham mutazat de haman. Hard and easy or difficult and easy. We use synonyms and antonyms because we don't want to repeat words. ما کلاً این سینونیم ها و انتونیم ها رو تکرار می کنیم به خاطر اینکه یعنی استفاده می کنیم به خاطر اینکه نمی خوایم هی یک کلمه ای رو تکرار کنیم. Look at this conversation. What's wrong with it? It's a nice day, isn't it? Yes, it's nice. But it was a nice yesterday, was it? No, it wasn't. Look, the word nice here is repeated too many times. Kalame nice in jahili tekrashode. Now listen to this one. It's a nice day, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. But it wasn't great yesterday, was it? No, it wasn't. This one is much better. Now complete the conversations with a synonym in the box. One, Maria comes from a very rich family. Really? I knew her uncle was very wealthy. Wealthy is a synonym for rich. Hardo bemanie servatment. Was Sophie angry when you were late? Yeah, she was pretty annoyed. That's for sure. Annoyed and angry. They kind of have the same meaning. Jack's such an intelligent boy. Hmm, he is very smart for a 10-year-old. Smart, intelligent. I've had enough of this long, cold winter. I know. I'm fed up with the dark nights. I have had enough and I'm fed up with something. Dave and Sarah's apartment is a small, isn't it? It's tiny. I don't know how they live there. Small, tiny. Synonyms. 
Are you happy with your new car? Yes, I'm very satisfied with it. It runs well. Happy, satisfied. Synonyms. It runs well, yani خوب کار میکنه. Think of another word for these adjectives. Think of synonyms for them. Good-looking, attractive, amazing, fabulous, crazy, insane, big, huge, new, latest, up-to-date, old, outdated, awful, terrible, cold, freezing. And now let's talk about antonyms. We can agree with people by using not very plus an antonym. ما میتونیم موافقت خودمون رو با استفاده از این ساختار not very و یک کلمه متضاد با کسی اعلام بکنیم. Look at the conversation here. Tom so messy. Yes, teenagers aren't very neat, are they? میاد میگه تام سو مسی تام خیلی نامرتبه این صفت مسی رو داشته باشید حالا میاد میگه تینیجرز نوجوان ها این روزا aren't very neat خیلی هم آدم های تمیز و مرتبی نیستن اومد از مخالف مسی یعنی نیت استفاده کرد به اضافه not very خیلی هم مرتب نیستن میتونست بیاد بگه که yes teenagers are messy aren't they ولی نخواسته اون کلمه رو تکرار کنه و اومده از یک انتنیم استفاده کرده now think a word that means the opposite of these adjectives. حالا شما برای این صفت ها انتنیم بنویسید. Easy, difficult. Noisy, quiet. Miserable, happy. Polite, rude. Loud, quiet. Exciting, boring. Generous, Stingy, clean, dirty. Agree with these sentences using antonyms. For example, that man was so rude to me. Yes, he wasn't very polite, was he? Do the rest, then listen and compare your answers. Track 27. Antonyms. 1. That man was so rude to me. Yes, he wasn't very polite, was he? 2. Some people are so generous. Well, not everyone's as stingy as you. 3. Dave's apartment is always so dirty. Hmm, it isn't very clean, is it? 4. His wife always looks so miserable. Yeah, she never looks very happy, does she? Five. Their children are so loud. Yes, they aren't very quiet, are they? Six. This class is boring. True, it isn't very interesting. Let's go home. What's happening? Let's talk a little bit about entertainment. Read the listings and find the answers to these questions. How much is it to go to the Getty Center? It's free. Is the Pollock exhibition open on Sunday? Yes, it's open from Tuesday to Friday and Sunday. How many nights is the concert on at the Walt Disney Concert Hall? Three nights. Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Is the movie at the Reagan Theater suitable for young children? Suitable for young children, yani aya in film munasib has baraye no javun ha? 
It is R-rated. When a movie is R-rated, it's not suitable for children under 17. فیلم ها هر کدوم یه ریتینگ خاص خودشون رو دارن. وقتی که R رو میبینید کنارشون یعنی مناسب افراد زیر 17 سال نیست. Is Cats popular? How do you know? Yes, it is because it's one of the longest running shows for over 20 years. برای حدود 20 ساله که داره اجرا میشه. So it's popular. Now listen and complete this conversation. Track 28. What's happening? 1. What do you want to do today? I'm not sure. How about going to the movie theater? Hmm. I don't really feel like seeing a movie. 2. Okay. Would you like to go to an exhibition? That sounds interesting. What is it? Well, there's a Jackson Pollock exhibition. Is it any good? I think it looks good. Three. Where is it? It's on at the Getty Center. Oh, how much is it? It's free. What time is it open? From 10 till 5.30. Great. Let's go. What do you want to do today? I'm not sure. How about going to the movie theater? Mm, I don't really feel like seeing a movie. Okay, would you like to go to an exhibition? That sounds interesting. What is it? Well, there's a Jackson Pollock exhibition. Is it any good? I think it looks good. Where is it? It's on at the Getty Center. How much is it? It's free. What time is it open? From 10 till 5.30. Great. Let's go. اون هاوباتی که میبینین برای پیشنهاد دادن ازش استفاده میکنیم giving suggestion دقت کنید که همیشه هم بعدش فعل با ing میاریم how about going to the movie theater یعنی چطوره که بریم سینما و اون feel like i don't really feel like plus ing form of the verb یعنی حس و حالش نیست که این کارو بکنیم الان میگه حالش رو ندارم که یه فیلم ببینم دقت کنید که بعدش حتما فعل با ing میاریم رسیدیم به پایان بخش سوم و پایان درس ششم از کتاب American Headway سطح دوم. بریم سراغ ویدیوی بعدی و با هم تمریناتش رو حل کنیم.